Uh, right, this is uh, another post. We've had, as I sort of uh, said, what I hope won't happen with actors falling through. We've had one of the actors fall through. We've um, lost Victor as Paul. It's um, unfortunate, but at the end of the day, they've got, um, as a third year actor, he's got his own um, final showing to do. And where we've actually planned the shoot, we've um, it actually falls at the exact same time. It's an oversight on my part, which I probably should have... Um, thought about more and kind of planned out a little bit better but um, we persevere and um, on that note I've kind of I went and I've had a look for actors and stuff like that but it's fairly sort of I think we're shooting on Saturday and today's Thursday so um, considering the short space of time I've had a look around for actors and stuff like that but um, obviously it's a combination of people not being available at such short notice and we're kind of uh, being able to post on that because I use the um, looking for actors or actors looking for films uh, Facebook group on uh, for Bournemouth anyway and um, that's been quite useful in the past but posting up on there just hi we've have an, we've had an actor fall through at the last minute we're shooting on Saturday can anyone come along not only is it inconvenient we're less likely to have people who are willing to do it it also makes us look a little bit unprofessional so People are going to be all, all, I guess, immediately thinking like, "Oh, well, these guys don't have they don't they don't have their stuff together, so um, I'm not going to bother." So on that note, I have got to make the very exciting um, announcement that I will be acting, which is going to be uh, interesting. I'm going to play, I'm basically set myself up to play the role of Paul and stuff like that. So um, my kind of thought process behind it is, I know that I'm available like I know I'm not it's not that I'm not going to be on the shoot or anything like that which is um, good you can always depend on yourself and um, second of all I'd, I'd, I'd get someone else to do it or something like that but um, the thing is is I kind of as I was saying in a previous post like I kind of I feel like I know the characters now so whether or not I can act per se we'll sit the um, skull alas poor Yorick that's the one um, <clears throat> despite be, uh, despite um, not necessarily understanding acting necessarily, I understand the character. So at least I can kind of read off the lines in the way that I consider them being said, at least. And I can do that without, even if it means I'm just looking like a mannequin and sitting there going, Oh, hello, I am Paul. Oh, I'm an Xbox and stuff like that. But um, at least kind of, I just feel that, Considering so much is riding on riding on this, seeing as we've got people coming down on the train and stuff like that, I can't conceivably not shoot this weekend. So having a another spanner in the works of possibility, possibly getting a new actor and then finding out that they can't do it on the Saturday morning, I figure I may as well prepare for the worst and act myself. So um, we'll see how that goes. I was once in um, the school production of Anything Goes, I was a sailor and I did a dance with a mop, if you're interested in my resume. I was uh, the uh, what's it? I was the announcer in the local in the school Spanish production of um, Cinderella, which was interesting. I wore tights and a frilly hat. But uh, other than that, my acting resume is fairly slim. But uh, we'll kind of see how it goes really. I figure um it's the the main issue with aside from obviously the problems of me acting and whether me acting is going to be terrible. The possible things that I can see coming up. Firstly, an issue that I'm trying not to think about too much is when it comes to post production. I'm not just going to be analysing everyone else's performance. I'm going to be looking at myself and being overly critical because it's me and I'm going to be sitting there going, What are you doing? You look ridiculous. Why are you on screen like this? Blah, 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 blah. And kind of being, I'm more likely to be overly critical of myself than I am other actors and stuff. So, um, We'll see how all that goes, but um, I think another big, um, the big, well, the big issue mainly is in terms of directing and stuff like that. Because obviously, being in front of the camera is going to quite drastically change the way I'm going to, the way I'm going to be directing. Because on the one hand, I'm going to be closer to the actors and I'm going to be able to speak to them amongst them, hiding them. I'm going to do a bit of a Jane God, uh, Jane Goodall, or something like that. And um, but other the but the issue is is um, shooting like uh, the actual filming because I'm not going to be able to con conceivably see behind the camera as to what's going on and stuff. 
I'm going to have to rely a lot more on Alex, my uh, director of photography, to take the initiative with shots. While I've got him the shot list and stuff like that, I've spoken to him about this and said, are you comfortable taking more um, initiative and almost being in charge of the um, shooting style and stuff like that? Uh, he said he's fine with it and it will be... Um, hopefully it should hopefully it should go well. I mean, I've worked with him plenty of times in the past and he's always been top-notch, so... Um, I don't have any doubts that the stuff I'm going to get is good, but um, I think it'll be interesting because it's not going to feel like it's not going to feel like this will be the first time I'm not standing behind the camera and watching over everything, like beady eyes in on stuff. But um, it might—I I don't know—it might be quite liberating and enjoyable, kind of as an experience, because obviously I'm not going to be able to see the shot since the, um, until we get to get a chance to look at the rushes and everything like that. So once I put it all on my computer and things, so. On the one hand, I'm getting to look at it from a fresh eye when it comes to the edit, which is good because I'm not quite so. Um, what's it? I haven't put a little bit, in, little bit of myself into each shot. I'm not emotionally invested in any particular take or anything like that, aside from my um, acting. But it's going to be, it's going to be interesting more so than when I'm behind the camera and if I'm sort of freaking out over how a shot's working or something like that. I'm not going to have that issue in post. I can look at everything. A little more objectively on the one hand of purely the aesthetic style but I'm going to be looking at more subjectively in terms of the acting because I'm involved in the acting so I'm going to be looking at looking at the way I do things with a lot more scrutiny and stuff like that but I think I've just got to get over it and accept it and um, yeah hopefully see how it all goes but yeah I think um, like I said last week all things considered, hopefully the next post should be an evaluation of the sheet. So until then, um, I've been Marcus.